People who live near Lincoln Creek Parkway say these barricades blocking the road went in just weeks ago without any notice. We need to be included in the discussion. How often are you using this parkway? Practically almost every day. She's part of a group of neighbors not happy with the county's active streets project aimed at converting the Parkway Road between 23rd and 27th streets into a trail for people and bikes only. We're not opposed to having a bike trail. We just don't want to get rid of our street. I enjoy, I can come through here. This is one of my ways to go to save a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to go all the way around there, I'm spending more gas. A spokesperson for the Milwaukee County Parks Department says converting the roadway will remove underutilized and difficult to maintain parkway segments and instead provide enhanced recreational amenities, reduce concerns of reckless driving and maintenance costs, and encourage active lifestyles. All of the things you've heard are true in part. There is a lot of dumping. There is a lot of speeding. This is used as a shooting place. Uh, so there is crime and heavy crime on this area that needs to be addressed. But blocking all four blocks of this parkway is not going to solve that issue. If anything, it's going to create another pocket where people can gather and do the same things that they're already doing. The city argues that using Lincoln Creek Parkway is actually a redundant use for vehicles because residents can use Villard or Teutonia on the other side. Neighbors disagree. You don't see any accidents over here. You see accidents on Titonia when you have to divert and go all the way around. When we have emergencies on our block, you can barely get a fire truck or other EMT vehicles in and, and they don't have any way out. Hoping the county takes their concerns into consideration before making this a permanent change. In Milwaukee, Caroline Reinwald, WYSN 12 News. Authorities say they went door to door to alert residents to the change and they're encouraging neighbors to give feedback now through August. We have a link on our WISN News app for residents to weigh in.